we're going to look at uploading videos to OneDrive. Now, one of the reasons why you'd want to put a video on OneDrive is say you've taken a video of yourself reading a story, you want to send that up onto the school web page or Facebook page or whatever, you need to send it to the web team to upload it, and you get problems trying to email video files and that sort of thing. So this is probably the easiest way of doing it and making it available to other people. We've got our video that we've created. I've just saved it onto my desktop for now. So if I double click it, it's just a video of the microphone that I'm actually speaking into now. Very short video, that's nothing special there at all. But I wanna take that and I wanna be able to send that to the web team. Now because this video is quite small, you'll see there it's like 20 meg. I could technically email this, but chances are your videos are gonna be above 25 meg, um, which means you can't attach them to an email. Now you may find that if you try and email the web team, uh, it will come up with a warning saying that the file is too big. Do you want me to upload this to OneDrive for you uh, and send a link? And if that happens, that's great. But if it doesn't, you have a problem, here's what you can do. Go to office.com in a web browser. So in the URL bar at the top, type in www.office.com. You'll get this page and click sign in and then sign in with your school email address and password. Once you're in, you'll get this portal. Uh, this will give you links to all the apps that you have available within your Office 365 account, and one of them is OneDrive. So if I just click on OneDrive, it'll open in a new tab, and here's my OneDrive. Um, I can then decide if I want to, to click on the new, and I can create a new folder, so I could call this videos for website or whatever. Or I can actually just upload it as a normal file, it doesn't matter. All I need to do, uh, like I said, I can either click new and create a folder and put it in the folder, um, or I can just click upload. Uh, and then I can decide to upload either individual files or an entire folder. So if I have a folder of videos I want to upload, I could do it in one fell swoop. So for now, I'll just go files, click on the video, click open. You'll see it then pops up there that it's uploading one item. I can click on it and it gives me a running progress of how it's going uh, there you go it's done uh, I can then click share link so you'll see now we get this option anyone with a link can edit or I can change this uh, only people in the cloud W so people who've got school accounts um, can access it uh, anyone who's got previous existing access or specific people and you've always got this allow editing tick box. So that will let them to, if it was a Word document, for instance, edit it, move it around, change it, rename it, or with the video file, rename it or delete it. Um, so you, you just need to decide whether you want to give them access to do that or whether you just, you, you can just give them a link, untick the allow editing, it means they can read the file but not change it. I can set an expiration date, so if I only want this to be available to them for a week, for instance, I can. I can even set a password, and then I just need to let them know what the password was to get that file. I just click apply, and then I can copy the link. Um, there's the link. You'll see it's, it's quite long and, and wordy, but that's fine. You can just copy that and email it over. Or alternatively, when we're in this, anyone with a link can edit. Uh, we'll take it back to not edit. I can then start typing in the names of people there. So if I go for one of my fake student accounts, uh, I can click on that and that will send them an email with the link in. And then I can hit send. So that's another way of sending it as well. And you'll see there's the, the file in the OneDrive. Another way I can share it is if I hover over the file or the folder it doesn't matter, I'll get this little icon here, which is um, the share icon, and I can click on there, and I get the same options again. So I can share it that way as well. 